Uh, and uh, awesome. Okay. So yeah, let's just start, I guess, for now. All right, so I'll just share my screen and you guys can see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. So um, just quickly, we've got um, a platform that we've, we've got a patent pending um, uh, on, design, on the design functionality of it. The, if, if you look at other builders on the market, they all work with templates and layouts and stuff like that. You got like four or five things that you can choose from, and then you got to kind of put your logo in a certain spot, put your you know buttons in a certain spot. Ours is completely custom. There's, there, it's a really unique uh, method in what we do. So you can just get, quickly see a variety of the screens that we were able to do with our platform. Um, and we use a lot of rewards in the system. So we've got, I think, 11 different rewards uh, functions, features. Um, for businesses that use, you know, have a mobile app, mobile app could be, you know, the best tool in the world, but if your, your users don't, uh, you know, don't keep the app on their phones and delete the app, then it's really of no use to you as a business owner. So we use rewards as the hook to keep these business, uh, the customers um, engaged with the businesses and keep their, the apps um, installed on their devices. This one we're looking at is a rewards wallet. Um, you're able to earn a percentage of a transaction amount. So if you're spending like a hundred bucks uh, and the amount's 5% or whatever, the amount obviously is customizable. Uh, you, you you get back five bucks in the wallet. Um, it's just the wallet continued. Got a VIP reward system. Uh, similar to that, this is something uh, based on how much you spend. Uh, you, you earn a specific discount. So the more you spend, the higher you go up in the tiers. And this resets every every season, every uh, January 1st. Uh, a point system, uh, more fast-paced environments where you can earn, you know, for restaurants and that kind of stuff, where you can earn points. Uh, and then, you know, based on the, the value of the points, you can earn specific types of rewards. Uh, scratch and win, this is a really um, good feature. A lot of engagement with this. It's like a lottery ticket. Um, I'm sure everyone's seen lottery tickets. You can scratch, you can put custom images here. They scratch your image, and then you can either win or you can, uh, you know, try it in kind of thing. Uh, similar to Scratch Wheel, we've got a spin wheel. Uh, just click the spin button, the wheel spins, and it stops. And you, as the owner of the app, dictate how many times the specific winner comes up, how many times the 10% comes up, how many times. Obviously, that that's you, you want to wait it so that it's the bigger, the more expensive prizes come up much less. Um, we've got a contest feature. Um, basically, um, a, a few ways to get an entry. You can create a QR code and have your customers come in every, say, 24 hours scan the QR code and they would get a ticket uh, or you can do it by spend. Uh, you can say for every 50 bucks you spend, we'll give you, a, you know, one entry into the, into the contest. Uh, the contest can be, you know, you have a grand prize, you can or you have multiple prizes. Uh, it's all set up in the system and managed by the system. Uh, this is a different version of the contest where users actually can upload uh, images or some content and then the admins can monitor the content and kind of pick a winner. Uh, pretty straightforward stamp cards, you know, buy 10 copies or nine copies, get your 10th free. Uh, we've got a coupon system, um, e-commerce. This is really important. This is something that we've, um, I'm really excited about. We have, uh, the ability to provide uh, a business, uh, one channel, one database that supports your mobile app, that supports your website and your bricks and mortar location. Um, so this is something that's, uh, you know, a premium feature. A uh, smart review system basically enables you to um, dictate if you get a good review, it will take your customer to, you know, your on your Google site, your Facebook site or whatever. If they give you a poor review, uh, they'll fill out an internal form that goes to the admins of the app and then they can handle the customer. <clears throat> We've got a gift card module, pretty straightforward. Event calendar, pretty straightforward. Uh, food ordering system. We've got two different ones. This is a uh, different UI. This UI is copied from uh, Domino's Pizza. And um, we've got another one, version two. This was uh, copied through DoorDash, the UI. So these are fully functioning, independent food ordering systems. They're standalone systems. You don't need um, to connect with anything. It's it, it, it fully will run your kitchen for you. Uh, food ordering continued. Now we've got a delivery module uh, that connected to the food ordering system. When somebody places an order, uh, the admin can basically say, okay, I've got an order that you can pick a driver and say this order is going to be uh, delivered by that driver. The customers can follow along. These numbers are dynamic. They'll, this counts down and there's a map view as well. You can see where the driver is. Uh, table reservations, pretty straightforward. Uh, clientele module, this is a pretty cool feature. Uh, great for boutiques, great for car dealerships. Uh, it's one-to-one -one messaging as well as, as, well as one-to-many. 
and the user doesn't even have to have the app installed on their phone. This is all done by text messaging. Clientele module continued. Clientele continued. Got a podcast feature. Uh, image galleries and shopping lists. Uh, we've got a find. We call it find a space, but it's uh, similar to like an Airbnb kind of feature where you can list a, uh, you know um, your a room, a, um, a house, a garage, whatever you got a space, uh, and then people can actually book your space uh, through the app. Appointment booking system. We're actually revamping this and we're, we're doing a, a whole new, um, it's basically software that will run an entire salon um, that's coming the next few weeks as well. So this is one of the system appointment booking systems we have. Uh, service booking system. Uh, this is basically a marketplace. So you can have different kinds of categories. And when you click on Barber, you'll, you know, you'll see all the different providers there. Uh, stylist, plumber, you can create a marketplace for service providers. Um, this is what the service provider screen looks like. Uh, and I get, everything is handled through the, the phone. Both the service provider and the customer have their own uh, interface, and then the, everything's done through the app. There's no need for anything except the app. Uh, this is service booking 2.0, same idea, same kind of marketplace idea, but a different UI. Let's see the UI here. We've got a digital queue system. So basically, uh, this was great for when uh, when COVID was happening, but it's still uh, in use right now in uh, you know, a couple of hair salons that use the system specifically. Uh, what this does is lets you set up a radius around your place of business. Let's say it's five miles or 10 miles, or whatever the, the radius is. Um, when people come inside that radius, they're able to join the queue. And it's a digital, digital line. Basically, the system knows if I came in at 1 p.m., and uh, Glenn came in at 1.15, I would be ahead of Glenn. And basically everything's handled through this. When it's my turn to come up, I get a, a text message saying, hey, you're up next. Please make sure you're back at the you know, location in 15 minutes, whatever. Uh, same thing with the, you know, here, queuing system. This is, the, this is what the staff sees. This is the staff screen for the queuing system. Uh, product picker, this is a little bit of AI built into the platform where you can ask specific questions and based on the answers of your customers, they get, um, you know, they're taken down a path to a specific product. Right, whatever you pick here will determine the kind of products you get. We've got a paid membership system where you can sell memberships to, you know, for gyms or salons or uh, spas, or whatever. This was actually built for a surf school in Australia that was using it for us, the system, and they had a whole bunch of different uh, requirements. But, but you know, sell a membership, you know, all through the app again. You can make different plans weekly, biweekly, monthly, annually. All those things are managed in the system. Uh, continue. This is what the user sees as their as their membership screens. Uh, we've got an event ticketing system. <clears throat> we've got a whole new uh, system coming in as well. Um, that I haven't even showed Glenn, but it's uh, I'll, I'll show you guys that in a bit. Um, a meal planner, uh, information tabs, uh, directory listing. This is like your own little yellow pages built into the app. Um, employee schedules. Uh, push notifications, uh, integrated SMS. So basically you can send uh, text messaging programs uh, right through the, through the platform as well. And, you know, social media, any digital assets that a business has or, or anyone has can be put, you know, embedded into, into their app. Uh, we've got a form builder. You can create different types of forms. And, uh, uh, we've got a mortgage and tip calculator. Uh, Container app, this is a cool feature. This is basically giving you what Starbucks has. If you guys are all familiar with the Starbucks app, they've got one app, but they've got like a thousand locations in their app. We have the ability to do the exact same thing. We can give you one app and you can you can do it either like a Starbucks or, or the franchise model, or you have different locations and based where, where you are, you can see those different locations and buy from those specific locations. Or you can do something like this where it's uh, pick different, cat you know, add different categories. And it's kind of a, it's a business in a box itself. Um, it's got restaurants here, shops, groceries, you know, automobiles, and then you'll click on one of these categories and they'll have a listing of all the different, you know, auto dealerships or auto automobile places that you have. Uh, and each one of the, the outlet apps inside of this main app is a fully functioning app. So you could technically sell one, you could have one app and go and sell, you know, 10, 20, 30, a hundred different businesses and have them all inside one app. The benefits of something like this is that all the businesses would be, of that, let's say you had a hundred businesses in your app. All of them are promoting your app, whatever the name of the app is, and you 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 have the ability to grow that much faster. Like if you get one app and you know it's for your hair salon, your boutique, or whatever, um, it's going to take a little time to get some downloads and all that kind of stuff. But something like this, if you got 10, 20, 50, 100 businesses promoting the same app, because their business can be found in this app, uh, you can imagine how quickly this can grow. 
This is some more examples of container apps. Um, someone had asked earlier about oh, Shane. I think you asked about this. This is the uh, this is what we call MyFB. It's basically a replica of Facebook. So the entire uh, Facebook um, system is built into the platform with uh, the ability to give you know you could add this as a feature. So you could have a home screen and you can have this as a button on your home screen saying, hey, uh, you know, you know, for this app, we call it the blue zone. So anyone that's um, in that specific app would basically be able to, it, it, it behaves just like Facebook. It's, it's a replica. Uh, this is the blue zone continued. We've got a feature called Just Fans. Um, you guys probably all have heard of OnlyFans. Uh, same, similar idea. We've knocked off the same, same kind of concept. This is a subscription-based um, content sharing system. So each user, each person that has their own account can basically put up content and other people can look at their content and subscribe to them and they can charge a fee. So uh, OnlyFans you know, works amazingly well. Uh, we've got a course creator. This is a great tool for trainers or coaches. Uh, you can basically create full-fledged courses in, 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 in the system and have, uh, um, you know, again, same thing, people can subscribe, buy your courses digitally. This is the course creator continued. Got a business listing feature. This is similar to the yellow pages, but a little different UI. Um, and around this feature, this is something that we did specific for a client. It didn't really, um, he never really kind of completed it. Um, so I'm not really going to go deep on that one. We've got a job portal one here. This is basically, you can list jobs and people can apply. It's like a you know a classified section. Uh, we've got a secondary, uh, a different version. Someone else had something created custom for them for their specific business model. Um, Another this is this is another job board kind of thing, but it was done for a real estate agency uh, where they have a bunch of agents together, and then sometimes you know a guy gets double booked, so he wants now what they're doing using this for is basically to uh, when people are double booked, they'll say, okay, I got a job, I need someone to help me with the showing, uh, I'll pay a hundred bucks now, you know, hundred bucks for the showing, or whatever, and then people can come here, apply for the job, uh, and then interact through the app and, and confirm the the, the application. <clears throat> this is called the singer songwriter. It's a, it's a voting system. It's done for an app in um, in Nashville. There's only one of our clients that are is using it, but it's in the platform. Um, basically, musicians create uh, join the app, create a profile for themselves, and pick a category. And this is what the the profile of the magician looks like, uh, mu musician. And um, people can see their music, uh, see their content, and vote on when they have when they're running a contest. You can actually vote as a user. Um, and you know, there's a whole scoring system with that as well. Uh, an invoicing module where you can actually, if you're a business that does B2B, you can send invoices that can get paid right through the system. Uh, time slot booking system, which basically uh, like groups of people, like we had a, um, uh, we did this actually for a, um, a company that had uh, uh, packages of play. So they were, I, think, I forget, it was paintball or something like that, where they had 20 people that were able to book um, in one, one time slot. Like if you're a salon, uh, once your 10 o'clock slot is booked, you can't have somebody else book, but this allows multiple booking. So you can say, okay, this class can be, you know, 30 people can hold this thing. And then once you hit that number, then that time kind of goes away. Fan wall, pretty straightforward. Cleaning business software. You can create your own software to run your cleaning business. Um, this is meal packages. This is subscription plans for meal, pa uh, meal packages, plans essentially. You can create subscriptions to people buying you know, two meals a week, three meals a week, five meals a week, that kind of thing. This is uh, meal plans continued. Uh, this is a cool feature, venue manager. This is pretty new. Um, basically, this is done for a guy in Washington, D.C., and um, he's an, like a promoter. He has got, you know, interacts with a lot of bars and restaurants, and they sell uh, events and deals and skip the line kind of thing. So you can actually skip the line uh, if there's, you know, a popular bar or whatever. Their users will pay money to skip the line so they don't have to wait in line. Uh, membership uh, members directory so you can create like a little button that feature for that and have all your your members and there's little bios on everybody uh, you know call button you can have different numbers for your business to be reached at we've got a chat system and um, chat support basically you can create support you have staff or uh, you know one-to-one -one communication with your users um, a rating system again this was done specifically for one customer they had uh, a winery and they had a different bunch of different uh, wines and their clients basically, you know, select their favorites, put some notes there and um, uh, it's an internal system for them. Staffing feature. Uh, this allows, this was done for a school in Ottawa 
Um, they have a bunch of supply teachers and this allows the schools, um, the, the school district to kind of say, okay, we need a teacher on this day and the teachers all put their availabilities in there and are able to apply for jobs uh, with the staff and teacher. And that's a quick overview of the platform. Um, what I'll do is I'll just pause the recording for now and then we'll, if you guys have any questions, we can jump into questions. Gone. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly show you a couple things. So Glenn was saying, you know, if you go through a presentation where I just did for you guys and show someone else that you're trying to sell to, you're gonna overwhelm them and they're gonna, you're gonna scare them away. Uh, you gotta kind of focus on, on each in niche, this business niche and kind of highlight two or three or four of the you know, main points that it's gonna impact your business. Like for example, we're looking at the, a retail pitch deck here that I've got, um, this is for a retail business. I uh, quickly go through the retail deck and it's, just all, it's only highlighting the things that will be relevant to this business. Nothing else, none of the food ordering, it's not needed in this kind of system. So you, you got, I think this has 20 pages and you're in and out and that's it. Uh, we've got something for salon, same kind of thing. This is just- uh, So this is a tool, a sales tool that we have? These are, right. yeah, these are already done. So I've, I can provide all the, like these booklets to you and you can basically use this and put your own branding on it and do whatever you want with it. Uh, it's not a okay. problem. So salon, this is a salon, and here's for a restaurant, same kind of thing. Just highlighting the, the key things that a restaurant would, would be interested in. Um, Okay, quickly going to show you some a couple other things. Uh, so this is the salon system that we've got uh, that we're working on. We're just uh, you know in the testing part uh, right now. It's not live yet, but it will be soon. Um, it's it, it's a fully functioning uh, software system that will manage uh, a salon. It even includes a POS system inside of it. So it's got you know you can put multiple salons in here. I'm, I'm just I'm going to be doing a promo for the uh, for these for for the Aura guys. Glenn, actually, I actually forgot to tell you that. Uh, they're interested okay. in looking at this and uh, I'm just getting it to a point where I'm you know, happy with showing them. So um, that's the salon system. We've got this system that I, I'm just launching now. It's called Ticket Vibe. Um, it's basically gives you the ability to sell. It, it's like Eventbrite, like an event or Ticketmaster, whatever. You can create different categories and I can actually uh, sell events uh, inside, the, inside the app. Uh, this is going to be in our platform as well. So this is another feature that's coming down the road. Um, and this is all the content I've just put on here that, um, you know, just, just for, for testing and stuff like that, but you can see, um, uh, the kind of things that you can do with this. It's really, really cool and robust. Um, and then the just fans thing I was going to show you guys, this is a just fans, um, back office. Glenn mentioned the, um, automation. So we've got a bunch of automations. What we're looking at now is the back, this is the platform, uh, back office of the, of the reseller dashboard. Okay. This is one of the apps we've sold. This is actually my own clothing store. Uh, I still own and operate re a retail store that uh, that was my main business prior to getting into this. Um, and the automations are here under campaigns. We've got automatic emails. So these go out on specific triggers uh, when you know someone's got their birthday, when they're posting next for rewards. Uh, you can create different date mails. So like you can create a mail to go out on Christmas Day, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Uh, and these are all things that are set and forget it. Once it's set up, the system will do it automatically. Uh, you can create drip campaigns to go out after a certain amount of days after the customer downloads the app. Uh, a welcome, you know, thing, different rewards, things. There's a whole bunch of different triggers here. We've got autopilot, which is similar to the automatic email, except for push notifications. Uh, we've got an integrated email program that you've got that basically you can, if you're paying for constant contract or MailChimp or whatever, this is built into our system and you can use this as for free. So you can send out campaigns and you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, so those are some of the automations that we've got built in, and we're always looking to uh, update and upgrade the platform um, over, you know, it's, it's now, substantially. Some people are more tech savvy than others. Do you have like, like, is there possible to make training videos that- there, It's already there. It's already, um, it's already- okay, so you, Yeah, so I'm gonna show like, you- So that. from the back office, a, a business owner can like look at training videos, like, okay, yeah. I do this and this so, and- yeah, so this yeah, is the back office. Tickets, we have right? a, a support link right here. If they need support, they click this. We have a knowledge base. We've got something they can su submit tickets in and all that kind of stuff. Um, we also have created a white label YouTube channel. So this is called App Admin. Has no connection to Mass Mobile at all. Um, you can you guys can use this for yourself as well. Uh, it basically just goes through all the different videos, all the different features that we've got, and you can just basically pick a feature and see how it's set up and how it works and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then you can also let your customers have access to this. They can kind of look, you know, go through it at their own at their own pace. This is already there. Yes. Glenn? Yeah. You were saying that you you guys are uh well, I guess 
Allie, you, you'll be the one developing it, like a demo app that we can show people. Is that correct? Yeah, we have one. It's called app. The okay. app is called App Admin. It's live on the, the Google Play Store. So Apple won't uh, publish it. Apple's got some hangups on apps like the demo apps, so they don't they don't allow it. But if you've got an Android device, you can download the demo app right now and fiddle with it. And and can I do uh, things in the back office to learn how to do these things? Or no, the back office. You, you know how the app works. Yeah, the app you'll get the physical. Like you can get the app on your phone and play with the app, and you'll see all the different categories. So in the in the demo app, we've got all the different types of businesses, you know, retail, restaurants, uh, gyms, all the different types of businesses, as well as all the different features that we've got. So you can click on a, a business and see an app what that will look like. You can click on a feature, the appointment booking or the uh, my FB feature or whatever. You click on it, you can play with it, and you can see how each feature works inside the app. But the back okay. office stuff that we have to create an account for you guys. That's not something that's um, that you can get until you. Guys, I, I guess we'll talk to Glenn about how we want to do that. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, that's awesome. Um, another thing that, that we'll be doing off of this phone call, we'll be doing other training calls um, and just going over some presentations and things like that. Um, but the supports are already done well, unless the product hasn't been launched, for instance, like the POS system or something like that. Yeah. Um, we, we don't have that up yet. Um, but what I would like to draw your attention to is just the sheer am amount of features there are in this platform. And then the second thing is, is that there is literally nothing even close to this on the market today, not even in the same ballpark. Um, uh, more than one of these features is patentable and the automated portions of this system are intense. So you can do welcome emails, follow-up emails, all the loyalty point systems track everything done in the app. So you can reward posting to social social media, giving reviews, whatever you want to kind of reward people for with a loyalty point system that Ali developed, you can. So there's a lot of ways to build value with this. And the price point on an average app right now is over $10,000. So I have uh, an individual right now who will be selling the same app you're looking at from between twenty and sixty thousand dollars, depending on the amount of features they go, and five hundred dollars a month for listing. So your cost is significantly, <laughs> significantly lower than that. Um, we'll go over the the price points later, um, but at the end of the day. Um, Everything done in our sales structure and our pricing for you guys moving forward is to see that if we can get the average person to do even one app a week, even if you were at one app a week over 50 weeks, it's only going to take you a very short amount of time to be at you know a significant amount of money of residual income, not, not, not even mentioning the money that you're going to make up front off the sale. So there will be some learning. And these, these kind of focused presentations uh, that we have for each uh, vertical of, of the industry, whether it be a salon, restaurant, garage, whatever it may be, we're going to be developing more of those so you can use them when you go in to do your presentations. Cool. Uh, anybody else got any more questions for this, for the gentleman here, Ali? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Glenn, um, so it will... How I'm trying to get my grasp on this is so the so the stores you you you'd be selling the app to like stores right right what yeah. about what about to the consumers that because I mean you need it's like selling the first fax machine right you can't just have one everyone's got to have one so if the customers don't have the app it's not going to be any good so do the customers have to pay to get the app to connect to the store or the, does the customer get that get a, a, as a free app? Right. Yeah. So the customer basically, so the store buys and produces the app and then you could, it, we, I imagine we could charge for downloads if we wanted to, but that's yeah. not the store's interest. The store wants to, to have everyone get the app as quickly as possible. So we developed something called seeding programs where we incentivize people to download the app. So, for restaurants, there's like pop-ups with QR codes and maybe a $5 off uh, a lunch or something. If they download the app, you can incentivize it in a variety of ways. Once you've got 100 or 200 downloads, 
Then you can send out a push notification, an email or a text or all three, incentivizing people to refer friends. There's a referral feature in the app as well. So mm. you can say referral, refer two people to download the app and purchase something from our restaurant. You'll get a free lunch. There's uh -huh. a ton of different marketing strategies we have for getting downloads. So yeah. we'll go into that in depth. Um, but, uh, but if you want to know what the difference between an app and other things are, apps give you complete real-time contact with your customers all the time. An app is like a key to a cell phone. It has data, statistics. It has everything. It allows you to manage your business completely from one laptop. And to answer your question point blank, um, the store or the business that we sell the app to they are paying to create and make the app exist. And then it will exist in both the Apple and the um, Android Play Stores. I believe in the Windows Play Store as well. We have to yeah, we all confirm that. And then users download it for free. So when, distributing yeah. the app is a free is a free thing. It just takes the time or whatever marketing or promotion or word of mouth to get it distributed but uh but the only paying uh, and uh, is, is the original creator of the app yeah. and when you look at other other people who are selling apps uh from other companies they charge separately to do an android and an apple app i've ran into that more than once say ellie yeah that's there insane insane so our price point uh, is 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 just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and the content that we have is is stunning. The thing is, we're where it's just starting to get hot. Apps are on the bloody TV every day with the arrive, whatever that was. And Square is that. selling apps now. Square point of sale systems they sell apps now. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying. So they just sent me a notification. Yeah, this is the dot com. Boom, but it's for apps now. So um, there'll be, obviously, there'll be uh, uh, some 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 Zoom calls where we'll go over a lot of different things here. But I think based on this, you can see just how much is in this app and what it can do. Ali, do you want to go with a POS system? Yeah, so quick? this is this is the back office of the e-commerce component. Um, it's Shopify on steroids, essentially. And I've got a retail background. I've owned and operated clothing stores with better part of 35 years. So I, I've used a lot of different systems and I can tell you not just doing my own horn here, but this is, system is, is phenomenal. Um, it's it's again, the, the, one of the main friction points for a retail business uh, getting on uh, getting their e-commerce up to snuff is the, uh, the time it takes to manage the inventory. Because if you're a retail store, you got your inventory in your POS system on your bricks and mortars in bricks and mortar location. And by the time you get the inventory up on your website, you've sold a few items. You don't have these sizes or these colors or whatever. Uh, and then just it just becomes a nightmare. We're eliminating that friction basically by giving you one system that can do everything for you. It's got your e-commerce. We've now introduced a POS system. This is the POS system. It's web-based. So anywhere in the world you are, you can pull up your, your system and see what your sales are, what you can, you can sell anywhere in the world. You can go, uh, you know, Put your merchandise in a truck and pull up your uh, laptop and boom, you're you're off the races. Um, so that's the POS component. And this is the front end website. So this is uh, the actual site of, of our own store. And we're using the system internally as well. So these are, it's it's, it's just something that, like I said, that just uh, is eliminating the friction. Uh, we haven't um, determined pricing for this yet because these things are kind of new. But it's, like I said, the main point of contention is, is uh, maintaining the inventory in multiple locations. With Shopify, uh, in order to get what we can give you out of the box, you're looking at six, seven hundred bucks a month just for the e-commerce component. Uh, and this is Ooh. one of the features that's built in that you can provide, you know, as an inclusive, uh, inclusive uh, cost. It accepts yeah. payments. I'm sorry. Does it accept you can do payments? Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. You can, you can do everything digital. You can put, buy things online. You can pay for it. Uh, you, there's multiple payment systems that we've got on checkout. Uh, it was free for a few months and then it was not very much money. Sorry? I thought that Shopify was free for a few months 
No, then, there may be a there may be a trial plan like 14 days or whatever. But yeah, if you want, I, I'm just telling you again, my own personal experience with Shopify, uh, it was 40 bucks a month, and they give you like 50 products or 100 products, whatever the number is. Um, but if you want, if you like, if you look at what we've got here, we've got a bunch of things. Again, using my retail background, these are things that I've added into the system because I need them in my own business. Uh, we've got the, you know, we've got a gift card extension. We've got abandoned carts so people can look at, uh, you know, people put things in their cart and they take off. You can send them out automated emails. We've got, um, uh, what else? The affiliate program built in, one page checkout, all that stuff all built into the system, not to mention the POS. <clears throat> so those things will cost you, like I know people paying, I mean, it's, 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 it's it's costing business like you pay rent you know to have your your, your business uh this e-commerce stuff is is cost it's a cost of doing business but uh with shopify it depends on how many features you want um the more features you have obviously the more expensive it's going to be and shopify takes a percentage of your sales the other thing with shopify is they control your site i have actually got emails when i used to have shopify store saying uh we we sell high-end stuff like brand name stuff versace dolce cabana that kind of stuff they sent us an email saying, hey, we need authentic a proof that these things are authentic on your website or we're going to shut you down. <clears throat> and I'm like, you know, this is what kind of bullshit is this? You're not my landlord. Um, you know, it's my store. I can do what the hell I want. Even if uh, we don't sell a fakes anyways, but uh, just getting that kind of an email, you know, kind of pissed me off. But um, it happens all the time if, 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 because if you're selling fakes, technically those brands could sue the provider and say, hey, we're going to. Uh, come after you guys for damages if you're you know allowing these people to sell fakes on your on your platform um but this is i mean not that you know, i want to encourage people to sell fake goods but it's up to, you own the system essentially it's, you can do what the hell you want with it yeah your data your client lists if you're with other providers they they want to keep them right you have to pay to get them to release um there's a lot of different things with lower price points on this type of technology a lot of it is bait and switch that's out there so they'll bring you in low and then if you like the system or if you're there if you've created something with it then you've got to pay to get it out right and that's what they do they basically use the ransomware model so this isn't like that um, the owner of the business has complete access to everything uh, in in the system and even the, the databases can be segmented. It's a very powerful system. These are the payment solutions that you're seeing here that are already in the back end. Mm -hmm. uh, Ali is working on the uh, API, which is an application permission interface, which allows one system to communicate with another, basically. Square is already in there. Stripe is already in there. Moneris is being written right now. He wrote the API for Clover. PayPal is in there. Like there's just everything's in there. Like this is globally accessible payment solution. Uh, it, it's, it's already there. 